There guys, well today we have a little LED bulb we found on eBay. Now I got this uh, about 18, 20 months ago, and uh, it's been on for most of its for most of that time. But now he gone bang. So what I'm going to do here is just try and find out exactly why it's gone bunk. So what I want, hang on, what you? It's a diode test. We have light from that one. It is not shorted. Again, not shorted. So, if we get there. You can just see that, that little fella's lit lighting up. Now, do the same with the last one. And again, we have we have the LED lit, so that would that would tell me that the problem is in the power supply. Right. So, with that little nugget of information. I've got two little ways of going about this. The first one is to get this heat shrink off of this power supply. Oh, that's real, real nice. I don't know. Hang on. Let's get some light on the subject here. I don't know whether or not you can see that. That little bit of wire sticking out. They really soldered that on well, didn't they? Now. Right, we have a bolt capacitor. Oh! And there we go, the little switch mode chip went and popped its guts. Whether or not you can see that in that little chip there. Oh yeah, you should be able to. Nice little hole in that. Well, That, as I say, is that for this little fellow. So what I'm going to need, I'm going to need some of that. One of these. Now this, this one here, again, little switch mode, looks like a little switching regulator uh, it does take is 12 volts not 240 but it does take a uh, it does take AC or DC this one so we've got the full bridge rectifier there and I dare say that would be reverse polarity blocking on that diode uh, a couple of small resistors 300R, 200R and 300R, 
small small capacitor. Uh, 220 microfarad, 35 volt filter capacitor, and a nice hefty little inductor. But uh, what we're going to do here is this power supply goes out and in goes the new 12 volt supply. Now I will come back when the soldering iron has heated up. It's not quite warm enough yet. Be back in a minute. And back again. So, what I'm going to do here is just take off these wires from the base. running a little extra solder onto them. Here's my base. Now that's the power supply taken out. Now what I've got to do here and I'll take that wire off. A little more solder on it. A nice little blob of solder on the pad. that one. Should be, yes, negative. That's the one I was after. If I can find the end of the end of the lead, I'll be right. theory I should have 12 volt supply that will work either way there we go that's all I wanted to test then because now it's just a simple case my appropriately sized 
piece of heat drink. We shall slip that over. Get that right out of the way so I don't get any heat, or any excess heat, I should say. And this will now be labelled as a 12 volt DC lamp once I find my Daylo pen which is on my table there somewhere. sort of helps to keep the soldering iron plugged in. Get a little bit of heat on that. I'm just going to give it another minute. Yeah, let's set one off. Putting the solder up on that a bit. A little bit extra solder on those pads. And have the thing break off the pan. But hold on. Now, just as a little test, yeah, okay, you can go to sleep.
there's one. I need to find another one quickly. It's one thing you find with me is I've got these little 10 watt LEDs floating around everywhere. This is not too, going to 240, I'm just doing this for the, for the battery, the, uh, the 12 volt test, hence the, the clip leads. Now, I should have another one very, very close by, or I can just, no, can't use that. Right, they have completely vanished on me. Lodgy Brothers to the rescue! There's a good old multimeter probe test. And there we go. We have light, 12 volt DC, not a problem. Rebrand a bulb slightly. Now, I'll put his, put his cap back on. That's the one, in, the one good thing and bad thing all in one hit of these Chinese LED bulbs is uh, their power supplies are easy, so easy to get to that it's the point of being dangerous Current's going mad around here. All heat shrink together. It's still a bit warm, so I'll let him. There's our lamp, and there's our lamp powered. Little 10 watt eBay find. Unfortunately, the power supply didn't last. Um, I don't have any mains supplies, so this bulb got repurposed. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.